In this video, we're going to go ahead and do a deeper dive into what these artifacts are that we talked about before. So there are a bunch of different ways that artifacts can be recorded and collected uh, throughout an operation. You can add these manually, or agents can report them back as they're operating, or agents can have these automatically created as part of their tasking. So a breakdown of everything that's happening can be seen here in the analytics page in the artifact instances overview. And you can see a breakdown of how many times APIs were called, in which commands did it, how many files are created, if you've been sending Apple events, like with the app file payload, if you've been creating processes on disk and a breakdown between the different agents, all this sort of information is aggregated. But what if you wanna get a little bit more deeper information into it, what specific files were created, what specific processes were spun off. This is helpful as you're going through and talking with the defense if you're trying to do maybe an outbrief or you're trying to do deconfliction of events in an environment, it's helpful to know as much detail as possible of what exactly happened and when. So this is more of an overview of showing what's going on. If we scroll back up to the top and look at reporting and doing reporting artifacts, we can get a much more detailed breakdown of what's going on in the environment. So we can see here, this command shell did a process create of bin sh tax c id and a process create of id. Same with the who am I, you can see this upload created this specific file on this host. You can see here terminals read at this time sent an Apple event to the terminal application. You can see which specific APIs were called. All this sort of information is helpful as you're going through and trying to triage with defenders to see what exactly is going on. Now to help facilitate this and make things a bit easier, you can also download these artifacts. Uh, you can search across an operation and say, maybe I'm interested in things that dealt with, you know, who am I? You can see, ah, if we're talking about who am I, I did things revolving that at these specific times on these specific hosts with these specific tasks. So you can go through and dig down further into which host you're on, which user you're using, which agent you were doing, all this sort of information to make it really easy to determine, yes, that was me, or yes, that was not me, as you're going through and working with the defense. So it's super helpful as you're going through and doing that. But not only that, having this tracking helps break down your ability to talk to the defense in a kind of mutual language. And that mutual language that we choose in Mythic is MITRE ATTACK. So MITRE does an awesome job of having ATTACK, which is uh, adversary tactics, techniques, and common knowledge, which allows you to go through in a free and open way, talk about these different techniques in a common language between red and blue. Um, we have it broken out here in the old MITRE ATTACK format, not yet broken up into the sub-technique commands. But we have all this broken out here, and you can see the different techniques and everything that's broken out um, all the way down here of every different piece that's, that's kind of listed. Now, if you want to see, based on stuff that's registered in Mythic, what's the maximum possible coverage you can make across attack? That's what this commands by attack um, button does. It looks through all the commands that are registered in Mythic, looks at all the MITRE attack mappings to them, and highlights them in here. So you can see if we did one of every command for every agent that's registered, these are all the things we would hit. Now, this can only get so granular. For example, command line interface, if you're doing shell, depending on what command you execute after that can get more and more granular within MITRE attack. So you can only do so much there. So if we look here, we're looking, okay, these are things that are possible. Well, what about what techniques I've done so far in the operation? This tasks by attack allows you to go through and filter that down just to the ones that you've done so far. So we can see of the ones that are possible, this is what we've hit. And if you look back here at things like command line interface, you can see the exact command that you issued to do this. So it's no longer just, hey, the shell command is registered with T1059 command line interface. Your exact instance that hit this MITRE attack technique was task one when you ran shell who am I. Now we can get more and more granular as we go about doing this because we know that the who am I command is more than just a command line interface. There's a purpose to it that's mapped into MITRE ATT&CK. So 
If we look here, we can search across all of our techniques via regex to try and see which ones are mapped how. So if we look maybe for things that have who am I in them, we'll do this match function. And here we can see we've issued three tasks that have who am I in them. So here, tasks one, three, and six. And they're currently mapped to a command line interface. Well, we know that there's a little bit more about that in that we're trying to go through and do um, specific discovery here. The system owner and user discovery is more specifically that who am I command in addition to just the shell being how we executed it on the command line. So let's say we want to do that and update our actual mapping. Well, we can do that here. Uh, we run who am I in this search and returns these tasks. So if we now go over here and select the specific technique we're interested in, so here, T1033, system owner and user discovery, and we click finalize, you notice that this changes from match to assign. So match just means that we want to find everything with a regex that matches who am I. Assign, whenever we click finalize, means that everything that matches this regex, so in this case these, we want to also add this specific attack identifier. So if we click assign, successfully assigned, awesome. Let's look at our new tasks by attack. And you can see here, if we scroll down, now we have system owner and user discovery highlighted. And we can see, yep, our shell who am I's are now identified as MITRE attack. So it's a lot easier to go through and have this sort of information mapped out for you. And you can always output to an attack navigator that makes it easy to show in third party programs, this highlighting of stuff that you've done in an operation.